Facebook was founded in February 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg, a student at Harvard USA. His intentions for the site were to keep students connected and to meet others on campus. The site slowly grew to other universities and then to businesses until in September 2006, the site was open to everyone over the age of 13 with a valid email address. By July 2010, Facebook had hit 500 million users worldwide. Facebook is now one of the most trafficked sites available and research says that 700 billion minutes per month are spent on the social networking site. Out of over 500 million users, Facebook gets 175 million visits per day and every user is connected to, on average, 60 pages and events with an average of 130 friends each. If that isn't enough, people with access to their Facebook on their phones are twice as active as people without allowing Facebook to take the leap from web to mobile. Facebook. Facebook. I like the chat facility. I like the games you can play on it. I like the fact that you can be nosy on other people's profiles. It's just really, really efficient for keeping in touch with your friends, really. No, I wouldn't, really, I wouldn't really consider myself an addict. Once you're in an addictive cycle, there's a tendency to be doing that behavior, whether it's Facebook or anything else, um, to the exclusion of other things that you need to be doing. Um, also to the exclusion of things that you used to enjoy doing. About two, two hours a day, an hour and a half a day maybe, so probably about seven, eight and a half hours a week. About two, two hours a day, an hour and a half a day maybe, so probably about seven, eight and a half hours a week. <laughs> um, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> they don't shout at you, they don't get in your face. Facebook is my friend. No. I mean, obviously you could survive without it because it's not a necessity, but I'd feel a bit lost without it because I'm on it every day, well, every single day I, I will check it. But no, I, I, don't, I don't think I could live without it, to be honest. I love Facebook. There's an online world where I am king of a little website dedicated to me. With pictures of me and a list of my friends And an unofficial record of the groups that I'm in Before the internet, friendship was so tough You actually had to be in people's presence and stuff Who would have thought that with a point and a click I would know that Hope Floats is your favorite flick Harry Connick Jr. Facebook Facebook I'm hooked on Facebook I used to meet girls hanging out at the mall But now I just wait for them to write on my wall Take a look You are hooked on Facebook Facebook has become a primary source of personal details to enable many advertising companies and businesses to build a psychographic profile of users in order to reach certain markets. Even information you do not deem to be private, such as hobbies and interests, can be used, without permission, by hundreds of other servers for the benefit of their revenue. This is why the advertisements at the side of your pages seem so relevant to you when you notice them. Imagine everyone knowing everything about you. Imagine a world where you are merely a statistic. Imagine being stalked by advertising. Imagine Facebook. I've never felt the need, nor have I actually been drawn to communicate with my friends online or 
give descriptions of what I feel or, or what I'm doing online. I think in future that the younger generation will be on the computer for so long you could end up with a whole society of people just communicating from their living rooms, which, which isn't really good, I don't think. No, that's, that's, that's one of the things I really don't believe is a, is a good thing, just that uh, they're able to take all the information that you put up on the, on the, on the site and uh, use it to tailor their profits in terms of selling the information for, for adverts and things. And, and also, as, as employers, you know, uh, they can go on site to have a look if they want to employ you, look at your background, what you've done, and if there's something you've put up there that they don't like, they won't employ you. Photographs as well, they go on the site, you know, Facebook are allowed to use all the photographs without your permission, basically. All the stuff you put up there becomes their copyright. That isn't a good thing. Certainly. I, I know, personally, uh, from family, that, that certain uh, cousins and nieces of mine get up in the morning before school, literally half past six, straight on Facebook. When people are having trouble stopping, when they're no longer um, enjoying it, but they feel like they have little choice, when they're doing this behavior to substitute or it's interfering with work, family, friends, um, and they're having trouble stopping on their own, that's a time to seek help. It can become very addictive. I, I just couldn't I just couldn't see myself doing that and I'm just very worried sometimes for them you know, when they do that. I just immediately come to think of get a life. In the future, Facebook will expand to have links with everything. Every business, every educational establishment, every advertising company and every workplace. Facebook continues to improve and revamp its appearance every so often to keep people interested. Facebook has proven itself to be the biggest phenomena of the 21st century. Well done, Facebook. 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 Um, probably Facebook. I love Facebook. Oh, yeah.